What is happening? What is going on? You absolute bunch of legends. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to array multiple objects. So basically it's easy to array. It's easy to array one object. So if you create an object and you just array it, you use the modifier. But if you want to do multiple objects, so you want to create a kind of like a complex thing, I'm going to show you how to array that. So first thing you're going to need to do is just create two objects. So I can show you how to do this. So shift day, and you're going to go to mesh. And let's use an icosphere and then what you want to do is go shift a and we want to get another object so let's go with our uh, monkey all right then go to x g and bring it above so we've got this and now you want to just click on it and go s and just scale it down a little bit g and bring it so it touches or pretty close to the object so you've got two objects we want to array both of them let me show you how to do it now what you want to do is go shift a mesh and you want to get a plane okay go to x and you want to bring it g and bring it below your objects and then what you can do is then what you want to do is you want to select your icosphere hold down shift select your plane and hit ctrl p and then set parent to object and then what you want to do is you want to click on suzanne shift click and drag suzanne in there okay then with your plane selected, click here on object and go to instancing. So click there. And then what you want to do is you want to select instancing to faces. And then what I would suggest is leave your plane for the viewport, uh, but uncheck it for render so that you won't see it because you want to, these are the two objects you want to be arraying, not the, the, the plane obviously. But if you click on the viewport, you can also then not see it if you want. Okay, you can uncheck both. It's completely up to you. And now with your object selected, you want to go to modifiers and look for an array modifier because that's all we want to do. Click array and you can see you've arrayed both objects now. And then what you can do is you can just make it like 1.2 and then you can increase the count like that. You can also bring this offset to one. So you can change it like that or you can make it zero and you can increase the count. Boom. Or if you want to factor, you can make this zero and change this to one. And it goes on there. It's basically exactly like using the array modifier. And there we go. And you can see that you can just increase your count. And there we go. You've been, now I've been able to array multiple objects. You're basically setting it to a parent. That's what we did. And that basically is telling Blender that this is one object. So this and the icosphere is one object they're not two separate objects which is allowing us to array them and that is pretty cool so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace